At a meeting with conservative lawmakers on Tuesday, she trod a careful line between Macron's drive for bold reform and their push to retain scrutiny over any European monetary fund developed out of the existing Eurozone bailout fund. Officials in Berlin and Paris both express confidence that they will find a common stance before a European Union summit on June 28 to 29. I hear here and there talk of difficulties between the German and French governments on transforming the Eurozone, French Finance Minister Bruno L. E. Mayer told lawmakers in the lower House of Parliament on Wednesday. In Berlin, a government spokeswoman said Germany and France have the firm desire to find a joint way forward, echoing Merkel's own cooperative tone at a news conference on Tuesday. France and Germany, which account for around 50% of Eurozone output, are essential to the reform drive. But while they often put on a strong show of political unity and shared intent, the devil is frequently in the detail. On Tuesday, Merkel said creating a Eurozone banking union was a priority for her, but she also broadened out the reform question to include a European asylum system, as well as foreign, defense and research policy. Framing reform as such a broad issue risks diluting Macron's drive to beef up the Eurozone with extra funding firepower. Merkel also wants to make economic competitiveness a priority for the Eurozone, rather than simply amassing funds for countries in trouble, and has suggested a jumbo council of European finance and economy ministers, government sources say. But in an indication of the divisions within her government on Eurozone reform, the Handelsblatt Business Daily reported that Merkel's junior coalition partner, the left-leaning Social Democrats, SPD, reject the idea. The SPD sympathizes with Macron on the Eurozone and wants him to be rewarded for his efforts to reform the French economy, well aware that a big chunk of French voters remains susceptible to far-right and far-left populists skeptical about the EU.